right, hey folks, it's a sad video. There's no cool guy action B-roll montages rolling on this. It's a somber, heavy video in, the, in that I hate the product I'm reviewing, I hate that it exists, but it might actually be a good idea for some of you that are living behind enemy lines in states that are really against Second Amendment stuff. This may be a way to sidestep a whole lot of stuff, and so I'll walk through it. It's worth mentioning. But before we jump in, let me give a thanks to our sponsor, the Sonoran Desert Institute. Guys, you guys are all right. Guys, if you don't know SDI.edu, it's an online university that allows you to get gunsmithing certificates or an associate degree in firearms technology. Pretty groovy stuff, so if you want to work in guns, check out the Sonoran Desert Institute, SDI.edu. And back to the video. Guys, this is called the Cali Key. K-A-L-I, there it is, Cali Key. Oh my goodness, so beautiful, but the purpose is terrible. What it's basically doing is it's turning our glorious semi-automatic rifles into bolt-action rifles. And some of you would be like, why would you do that? And I'm like, if you live in California, having AR-15s can be really problematic. I've got an upcoming course in California. And as such, all kinds of folks, students, are emailing me and saying, hey, what do we do about our AR-15s or M4s in the state of California? California says anything that looks like this is designated an assault weapon. What something like the Cali key does is it drops in and turns your AR-15 semi-automatic rifle into a bolt-action rifle. So now you're completely legal and you're able to, hey, it's just my bolt-action rifle. But with one quick little switch, you can have this on hand and you're able to go semi-automatic or hey, no, check it out bureaucrats, I am compliant. So uh, you live in a different state, you roll across the border and like boom, semi-automatic. And then you go into California and be like, back up off of me, big brother, I'm complying, right? So basically what's happening is there, you're taking an existing bolt, you're taking the part off where the gas tube runs in and you're replacing it with this goofy business right here. Looks really, really weird, right? Just to compare it to another bolt, here you go. See the switch out? Quite weird, but really it's just these two Allen keys replaced and you pop this piece on and then you pop this piece on. This right here, pretty goofy, ends up sliding in like this. I didn't read the directions, so this actually took me a while to uh, figure out. And it all becomes one piece like so. This just drops into your rifle now, and now it is basically a bolt-action rifle. You can switch it pretty darn quick if you chose to. So, anyway, there you go. We will go ahead and drop this in my gun. It's got a Law Tactical, so I've got one extra little part there. End up putting it in and dropping my pins. Pretty cool. And now we'll go ahead and shoot it. And for every shot, I want you guys to shed one tear that we have ruined the semi-automatic rifle. All right, here we go. Eyes and ears, guys. Rocking and rolling. All right. the Cali key if you needed to be able to swap it out if I didn't have this law folder I could literally just shotgun my rifle and swap out the bolts in seconds as it is I've got to take apart the upper receiver to be able to pull this off slide that out be able to put this back in and in just a moment you're able to be back in the wind with your normal semi-automatic freedom loving AR-15 Come on, sweetheart. Sometimes when your guns don't go back together, you gotta coach them and say sweet things like, sweetheart. What in the world is happening here? Oh! I didn't put my gun back together right. I forgot to put this piece back in, which means my rifle's not gonna work. So, uh, and that's just because the law folder is in, and all I have to do is basically drop this in as so. Like, what the crap, why is my gun working? Very good, put my mags in here, here's one. Oh, 
All right, and I'm back to semi-automatic. Not bad at all. Guys, if you wanna buy just the Cali Key piece, I forget what it is. It's somewhere between 60 or 80 bucks. If you go ahead and buy the bolt and have a dedicated piece like this, it's somewhere under 200 bucks, 160, 200, something like that. I'll have links down below for you guys so that you're able to check this out. But if you live in a state that really hates semi-automatic AR-15s, this could be a way that you don't have to make a featureless rifle and basically destroy the functionality. It's just a quick swap out. So this is what I'm taking to my California rifle classes upcoming. And you better believe I'll have an extra bolt just hanging out with me in a range bag. So that's all I'll say. Make sure you like this video, even if you don't like the concept of a Cali key. Remember, I'm on your side. I don't like it either, but here's to sticking it to the man, right? Uh, Love your country, love God, love your wives. Train hard, train smart. Visit the Sonoran Desert Institute if you would like to. And guys, I will see you next time.